Mr. Clemens had um, glaucoma with a surgical procedure done in one eye. Uh, the surgery, surgical technique was good, but there was quite a bit of inflammation in the eye uh, that was causing a lot of pain and was causing a lot of discomfort, and there was a, uh, quite a bit of vision that was lost in that eye. He presented with uh, glaucoma in the other eye. This is now his only seeing eye. Um, so I felt that, one, we needed to get the right eye under control, at least pain-wise, um, but then also um, I wanted to try to do something that uh, was a little bit less uh, invasive for the eye that had remaining vision, good vision. Um, so I thought you were an excellent candidate for a trabectome procedure. Um, in my experience, I've seen quite a number of patients who've had, um, in, like yourself, um, glaucoma surgery in one eye that was with a more traditional surgery. And sometimes there can be complications after those types of surgeries. Um, and so people can be very hesitant about the idea about having another kind of surgery like that done in the other eye that they're now depending on to see. And so uh, I felt that the trabectome was a great option for you because it coupled the opportunity to lower your eye pressure in a less invasive way um, that was safer to your eye, but then also we could couple it with taking out the cataract in order to help you see better. So we did that procedure and tell me about your experience when you had the actual surgery, maybe that day or uh, maybe the day after when you went home, what your experience was like. Right. Post uh, uh, surgery in Florida, which would have been around the 15th of February, uh, of course leading up to that from the time that my problem was discovered and he, uh, even subsequent to the uh, to the surgery, uh, I have lived a life unlike anything I've ever lived before, uh, to be perfectly honest about it. I'm not a depressed person, I'm an upbeat person, and, a, and I like people, and I like being around people, and I became somewhat of a recluse uh, in that I couldn't see. I was worried to death that I was going to lose the other eye, and so I went into, here I am in a wonderful country club environment, <laughs> with everybody having fun, and I'm inside thinking about my problems, mm -hmm. and that's a true statement. And I stayed basically uh, isolated for four months and didn't really care to uh, socialize. And once I came home, uh, well, I should say before I came home, two months before I came home, uh, I made this appointment uh, of, through, mainly through great concern that maybe I would lose the other eye because I hadn't planned on losing the, the right one, and I certainly didn't want to lose the left one where I had the pressure going up. Mm -hmm. And so it was not, uh, there, was no, there was no hesitation, it was never a choice whether or not I would look into it. It was a matter of whether I was going to do it in Florida or whether I was going to do it in Virginia Beach. During the surgery was really a non-event. Okay. It, was, it was painless, mm -hmm. uh, and following the surgery, I've had no pain in that eye. We've treated it with drops. We've co continued to reduce the drops mm -hmm. um, and the results with glasses. So we've had refraction done on my glasses and I'm about 20, 30. And on a good day, I might even be close to 20, 25. Mm -hmm. And so it's been a wonderful experience mm -hmm. and I appreciate very much you taking care of me. My pleasure, my pleasure.